Some of you may have noticed that the video series has a new name this week. When I first started regularly doing a YouTube video, I called it In This Studio with Lisa Sorrell, which doesn't give you any clue whether I'm a sculptor or a painter or a bootmaker or what. And then when I began the variety show, I called it Mondays with Lisa, but that is super boring. And so the other morning, just at that magical spot between waking and sleeping, I woke up and I thought, I'm going to call it It's a Boot Life. I told Paige the new title to see what she thought of it, and she said she didn't like it, but it suited me. I have no idea what that means. I told my goofy daughter Morgan the new title, and she said she liked it because it made me sound Canadian. It's a boot life, eh? I name all of my boots after bluegrass and classic country songs, and I like the new title because it makes me think of an old country song by Fair and Young. It's a great life if you don't weaken. So now, it's a boot life. I have a student in here this week. Her name is Taylor. These are the boots that Taylor is making in her class. And this is the side draft pattern. What we're going to do is just cut a nice curve out of the side of the boot to enhance that hourglass shape. Very good. <laughs> enjoying using Paige's Artisan 4618 and she's relieved that I've told her it's absolutely necessary to have one so she must go home and buy one. So Taylor is stitching the side seam on my baby the American Straight Needle. We spent all day doing the side seams and we put in the poles and now we're going to turn the boots. This is the big reveal. So the way you do this is you just put it inside and then work it with your hands. Okay, so for the counter, just put your thumbs right there. Put it between your knees, put your thumbs right there. You don't have much because you're so short and then just pop it out. Like that. Exactly. Oops. And then, then just squeeze the, the counter in half. A little bit. There we go. Some heavy metal name you know. That's right. Gene Simmons wishes he had boots like that. <laughs> These are Taylor's battle, battle scars from learning to make her own boots. Kangaroo is beautiful to work with. It's thin and soft, but it's also strong, and it skives beautifully. If you've been buying cheap leather and then trying to learn to skive, you're probably skiving badly and also learning to hate skiving. Charles Harkey carries Italian and Australian tanned kangaroo, and they have a line called Finesse, which is a little less expensive than most of their kangaroo, so it's a good place to start if you want to just buy some kangaroo and practice your skiving and practice working with kangaroo. Italian tank kangaroo. Here's full of bronze.
trying to find the worst skin to give to you. I'll take it. <laughs> the problem is with the Italian tan kangaroo, there aren't any bad skins. There. Use it wisely. Because it's expensive. Behind my mom, I probably know her leather like the best, just because I'm always pilfering through it and getting scraps and skins. And but I know it best of all. This week I want to show you a pair of boots that I made for my husband, Dale. Let's see, I made these boots in 2009 and he's still pouting because he hasn't gotten to wear them yet. I've been using them for display. This is an Old West town scene on the tops. It has a high cut vamp. That means the foot extends up the leg. It's super hard to do, but it gives kind of an interesting look and it provides a straight line as a foundation for that sidewalk of the Old West Town. The town is composed of several different little buildings. There's the bank and the hotel, the sheriff's office, the church, the livery, and the saloon. And all of the little buildings have writing on them identifying what they are. This one says bank. And by the way, creating all these little bricks took a very long time. The bricks are created with stitching. I had to freehand all the letters because they were so small. And when I got to the saloon, I was worried that I would run out of room and not have room to put the entire word. And Morgan told me that if I ran out of room, we could make it a salon and it could be a very well-groomed western town. 